Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you how to get full marks in SN1 and SN2 reaction mechanism in board's theory exam. In board theory examination, they may ask question regarding the SN1 reaction mechanism in three different ways. The first way is discuss SN1 reaction mechanism by taking suitable example. Second way of asking question is discuss alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide. The third method of asking question regarding SN1 reaction mechanism is discuss alkaline hydrolysis of 2-bromo-2-methyl propane. For all these three type of questions, we have to write the same answer. Now I will give you the technique of answering the SN1 reaction mechanism step by step. You take pen and paper along with me, you also take down the notes. Answer for SN1 reaction mechanism. First point, alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide undergoes SN1 reaction mechanism. Please take down, alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide undergoes SN1 reaction mechanism. Then we have to write the reaction. Tertiary butyl bromide or 2-bromo, 2-methyl propane. This nucleophile is obtained either by NaOH or from the potassium hydroxide. NaOH or KOH, they produce the nucleophile. This nucleophile replaces bromine atom and we get two types of products that is tertiary butyl alcohol or we may get like this product this is also tertiary butyl alcohol this is retention product and this is inversion product what is retention and what is inversion product I will discuss later and this bromine atom is replaced in the form of bromide ion. I repeat the first point once again you have to write alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide undergoes SN1 reaction mechanism then you have to write this equation. Second point kinetics. Kinetic studies show that the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of tertiary butyl bromide only tertiary butyl bromide only what is the second point kinetic studies show that the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of tertiary butyl bromide only therefore this is unimolecular reaction therefore SN1 reaction is unimolecular reaction. Point 3 mechanism. Mechanism means the step by step explanation how the reaction take place. SN1 reaction take place in two steps. The first step is formation of carbocation. Tertiary butyl bromide it forms carbocation in the first step. What is the purpose of showing the tertiary butyl bromide in this manner? This is the three dimensional structure of tertiary butyl bromide. The normal lines they represent these groups they are present on the plane and this dotted line indicates this group is present at the back side of the plane and this wedge it indicates the group is present at the front side of the plane. Due to presence of bulkier groups, bulkier groups mean big groups. Due to bulkier groups, there is a steric hindrance in the molecule. As a result, the carbon and bromine bond breaks heterolytically and formation of carbocation take place. Bromine atom, it takes the bonded electron and it becomes bromide ion and this carbon has lost its bonded electron therefore this carbon atom becomes carbocation electron deficient carbon it is called as carbocation
and and here the carbon is sp2 hybridized carbon bonded to three sigma bond is known as sp2 hybridized carbon atom and what is the geometry of this carbocation it is trigonal planar trigonal planar the bond angle between carbon 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 is 120 degree so in the first step formation of carbocation take place the formation of carbocation take place very slowly so this is slow step and it decides the rate of the reaction therefore it is called as rate determining step therefore the first step that is formation of carbocation is rate determining step in SN1 reaction mechanism and this formation of carbocation is favored by polar protic solvents polar protic solvents they favor the formation of carbocation as a result we should remember that polar protic solvents they favor the SN1 reaction mechanism second step attack of nucleophile on carbocation nucleophile OH- can attack to this carbocation from right side or the nucleophile may attack to this carbocation from left side there are equal opportunities for the nucleophile to attack to this carbon atom from right side as well as from left side as a result we get two products if the nucleophile attacks from right side we get a product like this this is called as retention product and if the nucleophile attacks from left side we get inversion product and there are equal opportunities this is inversion product inversion product as i have told you there are equal opportunity for the nucleophile to attack from right side as well as from left side so we get 50 percent retention product and we get 50 percent inversion product when the nucleophile attacks from right side it is called as retention product when the nucleophile attacks from left side it is called as inversion product and the total mixture is called as racemic mixture in SN1 reaction mechanism we get racemic mixture what is racemic mixture it is optically inactive mixture we can define racemic mixture as the equimolar mixture of dextro and leorotatory substances which is optically inactive is known as racemic mixture in SN1 reaction mechanism we get racemic mixture product in this way we can write the answer for SN1 reaction mechanism in three steps the first step is alkaline hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide undergoes SN1 reaction mechanism second step is kinetics third step is mechanism and in SN1 reaction mechanism we have to remember that S stands for substitution N stands for nucleophilic one stands for unimolecular reaction now let us discuss the SN2 reaction mechanism in board examination in theory paper they may ask you the question related to SN2 reaction mechanism in two ways they may ask you discuss SN2 reaction mechanism with suitable example or they may ask you directly discuss alkaline hydrolysis of methyl bromide now I will explain you step by step SN2 reaction mechanism the first point we have to write in the examination is alkaline hydrolysis of methyl bromide undergoes SN2 reaction mechanism then we have to write methyl bromide and this is the nucleophile nucleophile may be obtained from either NaOH or you can also use KOH then we get the product methanol plus Br minus. Then you have to write S yes equal to substitution and N stands for nucleophilic and 2 stands for bimolecular reaction. Second point kinetics. 
the kinetic studies show that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to concentration of methyl bromide and the concentration of the nucleophile therefore as the rate of the reaction depends upon both the molecules therefore it is bimolecular reaction bimolecular reaction now we will take mechanism mechanism as there are small atoms or groups present on the carbon atom nucleophile will not wait for the formation of carbocation as there are small atoms or small groups are present on the carbon atom nucleophile will directly attack to the carbon atom and it forms an intermediate which is called as transition state nucleophile will attack to this carbon atom and the carbon atom now it becomes the pentavalent and the nucleophile tries to form a bond with carbon atom and as the carbon atom becomes pentavalent pentavalent carbon is highly unstable this carbon atom it tries to come back to the tetravalent therefore this carbon atom it breaks the carbon and bromine bond and finally it gives the product methanol finally it gives the product methyl alcohol or in other words we can say methanol if you see the configuration of the product we have 100% inverted configurated product if you see the reactant the nucleophile that is negative group br is present at right side and at the product it is at left side therefore this configuration is called as inverted configuration and we get 100% inverted or 100% inversion because the nucleophile attacks to this carbon only from that side so we get 100% inversion product in sn2 reaction and sn2 reaction is favored by polar aprotic solvents polar aprotic solvents polar aprotic solvents they favor the sn2 reaction mechanism in one of my video i have discussed about the properties of the solvents and polar protic as well as polar aprotic solvent you can watch that video in the playlist the main points we have to remember related to sn2 mechanism is sn2 reaction take place in a single step and we get 100% inversion product in sn2 reaction sn2 reaction passes through an intermediate called as transition state now let us see one more question that is distinguish between sn1 and sn2 reaction mechanisms and this may appear in the board examination for two marks the distinguish between sn1 and sn2 reaction the first point is sn1 reaction is unimolecular reaction with first order and sn2 reaction is bimolecular reaction with second order in sn1 reaction the rate of reaction is directly proportional to concentration of the substrate only means in sn1 reaction the rate depends upon only one reactant therefore it is unimolecular reaction in sn2 reaction the rate of the reaction it depends upon the both the reactants that is substrate as well as nucleophile therefore it is a bimolecular reaction sn1 reaction take place in two steps and sn2 reaction take place in a single step sn1 reaction take place by the formation of carbocation in carbocation the carbon atom is sp2 hybridized and its shape is trigonal planar carbocation is also called as carbonium ion and sn2 reaction take place through the transition state in transition state the carbon atom is pentavalent and which is unstable these are the few important distinguishing points between sn1 and sn2 reactions please take the screenshot and by heart all these points which is very important for theory examination 
नाउ लेट अस कंसिडर न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्स्टिट्यूशन रिएक्शन ऑफ आइडोफिनाइल इथेन दिस आइडोफिनाइल इथेन इज एन ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव कंपाउंड बिकॉज दिस मॉलिक्यूल हैज असिमेट्रिक कार्बन एटम व्हाट इज असिमेट्रिक कार्बन एटम अ कार्बन एटम व्हिच इज अटैच्ड टू फोर डिफरेंट एटम्स और ग्रुप ऑफ एटम्स इज नोन एज असिमेट्रिक कार्बन एटम दिस आइडोफिनाइल इथेन हैज वन असिमेट्रिक कार्बन एटम एंड इट हैज नॉन सुपर इम्पोजेबल मिरर इमेज देयर फोर दिस मॉलिक्यूल इज ऑप्टिकली एक्टिव व्हेन दिस optically active molecule iodophenyl ethane is subjected for nucleophilic substitution reaction it undergoes sn1 reaction mechanism because the carbon bonded to iodine atom has bulkier groups as a result the nucleophile cannot attack on this carbon atom directly nucleophile waits until the formation of carbocation once the formation of carbocation take place the nucleophile will attack to this carbocation from right side as well as from left side therefore we get two products this molecule it tries to rotate the plane polarized light to the right side and at the same time this molecule tries to rotate the plane of the polarized light to the left side through same angle as a result the plane of the polarized light will remain unrotated therefore the mixture of these two molecule is optically inactive and this mixture is called as racemic mixture what is racemic mixture how to define a racemic mixture equimolar mixture of dextro and levo rotatory molecules which is optically inactive is known as racemic mixture racemic mixture is represented by the symbol plus and minus or racemic mixture can also be represented sometimes by d and l therefore this example prove that in sn1 reaction racemic product is obtained which is optically inactive thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe my channel this is avin i am thankful to youtube and millions of youtube